Today's adventure begins crossing over this bridge. I have arrived in Cincinnati, Ohio as the recording of this Saturday, July 9th, 2022. Going to a game. Johnny Bench has his own little road here, Johnny Bench Way. And this parking lot is Pete Rose Way. This is the corner of Pete Rose Way and Johnny Bench Way. It's about 1.50 p.m. First pitch today is at 4.10. Stadium opens two hours early. So about 15 minutes from now, give or take, be able to walk inside. Welcome everybody. Adam the Woo here, Cowbell Max. Game two of this series, we did not make last night's, which probably a good thing we didn't because there was kind of a weird ending to it. Nonetheless, Tampa Bay Rays versus the Cincinnati Reds. Charlie Hustle is sliding in right behind you, Max, right here. Pete Rose himself, not in the Hall of Fame, but is documented for posterity in front of here, sliding into the bag. We're gonna give him the safe for the out call. You're gonna, you always give Charlie Hustle a safe call. I've never been here. You ever been here? First time, man. I'm freaking excited. I'm stoked. Let's do it. Let's Boom! In there. I'm inviting you to join me and Cowbell Max. Shall you? Given the name, the Great American Ballpark, I have heard nothing but good things about this stadium and never have I been inside here before. We arrived into town late last night and decided, well, it was, it was planned ahead of time to go to, to this game. We're here. I've also heard they have kind of a pretty expansive museum inside here, which we'll check out before. I don't think batting practice is going to happen today with this weather. It's pretty rainy and nasty out. All right, got my ticket in hand and about ready to line up to, to head in. We're just a few minutes from right now. We are sitting in row or section 116, row F, C5. 410 first pitch. Oh, yeah. Starting to rain a little bit. Starting to rain a little bit harder. Still got about nine minutes before gates open. We're gonna go in the team store before now. Okay, found the museum. It's called the Hall of Fame and Museum. Cincinnati Reds Hall of Fame and Museum. Gonna save this for a later date and not do it today. But they also sell a combo where you can go in there and you can also do a ballpark tour as well. I think that might be Johnny Bench over there. We're gonna do that at a later time. I definitely want to do it at some point. Do the ballpark tour. Oh, gates are open. We gotta go. I really do like the Reds mascot here, right there with the old, the old sweet mustache. I really like that. This is also the Field of Dreams quote, obviously. I believe the Reds this year are playing the Field of Dreams game up in Dyersville, Iowa. That's probably why they made that show. All right, I was misinformed. It's not two hours before here. It's 90 minutes before first pitch. So we got a few more minutes before they go open the game. And the gates have opened. It's kind of interesting that the Cincinnati Reds have a very similar logo to the football team from Chicago, the Chicago Bears. The C kind of reminds me of that. There it is, Tampa Bay Rays versus Cincinnati Reds. And it's a giveaway. They are giving away the full team set of baseball cards for the Reds. Nice little painting over here, a little mural. Oh, this is made of tile. You got the 1869 club and then the more modern day, the Great Eight. And this is made out of tile. So look right here, this is tile work, not necessarily a painting, but different tiles making this up. And there is the current time right there, 2.43. First pitch at 410. No way, they have a Frisch's big boy in here, right there behind home plate. Check this out, holding the burger. There's a lot of different big boys. Obviously the one in Burbank is Bob's big boy, but this is a Frisch's big boy, holding the ginormous burger. I always like these. Man, that's so cool. I didn't know I was gonna see one of these in here. And at this very moment, there is no batting practice. In fact, they've taken a step further, not even having BP, that even though the players are out in the field working out a little bit and stretching and trying to throw in the ball around, they have put the tarp over the baseball diamond because it is raining. Now, I did check the weather, and it appears as if it's gonna clear up just a little bit and the sun is gonna come out. And this will, you know, looks like most likely it will be, first pitch will be on time. One thing that I really do like about this ballpark is how unique it is, like in center field, there is a full-on ferry steam riverboat out here that you can like see from a distance right in the middle of center field. In fact, these smokestacks, if you turn around and look over, go the other way from the smokestacks, you can see a bridge and a real boat out on the river itself, which is pretty dang cool. I think I've ever seen a stadium that has a riverboat. Now, there's always quite the debate which chili place is better in Cincinnati. 
Skyline versus Gold Star. But here at the stadium, they have Skyline, so I think I'm gonna get some Skyline chili and a dog. Maybe they have a chili dog. Not the most ginormous hot dog, chili dog, but they did layer it full of a lot of cheese. I'd say this is probably the smallest hot dog I've seen, but they got the, the chili on there. The size of the cup, though, pretty good size of the cup and an overload of cheese. This is gonna be a serious mess. And while I was consuming that, the person in front of me was trying to get napkins and they knocked over the napkin stand. That's what that noise was. It's like an oversized paper up there. It says, sweet. Cincinnati and choir back when they were world champs dangling from the ceiling. And there's a better view of it there. Also, take a look at that fan right there. This is the same fans they have at the Indiana Jones stunt show. Disney's Hollywood Studios. Oh, this is a good sign. They are pulling the tarp off the field out there. Oh, look, there's like a little congregation of mascots. And the mascots are making their way, kind of getting out of the way of the grounds crew. They need to get away from that tarp. And this is the visitor's bullpen. You can see it's even tarped over there, too. Pitching coach kind of getting everything ready. And you got down here, you got opportunity for two bullpen pitchers to warm up back in here. Yeah, I'm loving how this mascot is really kind of being a supervisor and instructing the ground crew on how to roll up the tarp. Also, starting pitcher for the Rays is Rasmussen. Oh, there's a little photo up here too of the mascot with the mustache right next to this bench and the bat and the shoes. Zamboni going through here. I'm also starting to realize that most people here arrive right before the game begins. It's starting to become a beehive of activity. First pitch. These are the seats I'm here, right next to the 1939 banner. The rain seems to have stopped, but man, the humidity is really starting to rear its head now. Cash has switched the lineup a little bit on defense and a newly acquired Ray Chang is at second. His first game as a Ray in a Ray uniform. He's over there at second. Let's see what he can do today. You can see we're starting to come down a little harder now. It's not pouring, but it definitely is a very prominent amount of rain coming down. Back over here, like quite the puddle starting to accumulate. Right here, this is actually where I'm supposed to be sitting, but there's no one sitting in the seat next to me, so I just kind of moved over because there's this magic, massive congregation of water puddling up. <laughs> Off the wall. Get him a second. Got a double out of that. All right, the sun is now starting to rear its head, starting to warm up, and the rain has subsided. Also, it's interesting that Wander Franco was in, and then they pulled him out after he was that bad, so hopefully he's not injured. Oh, G-Man. Oh, yeah! Go, G-Man. Safe. Second base hit. All right. So now the people next to us showed up, so we had to move over into my seat. So now I'm standing in this pond right here. I'm in the pond. We still do. The, Are they trying to be the ambidextrous card? Well, we still do the throwback jerseys like four times a year. So, I mean, we'll still, yeah, we'll still wear it. Like, but I don't know. Um, this kind of like I just realized one thing Cincinnati needs is a team on their scoreboard is a few more advertisements spots there's just not enough up there it's just not enough up on that on top of that board like come on oh yeah hey! there it is three got out of that one all right i'm going to document this this is chang's very first at bat as a ray now i was at wander franco's very first at bat at the race back at Tropicana Field last year, and Wander hit a home run. And Chang is in for Wander today. It's a stretch, but I'm gonna put it into the universe. Self Wander in on the picture. They sure do. Look up there. Oh, they just changed it. 
<laughs> Just like that. How warm is it out here? How warm is it? How bright is it? I'm just going to say this. Anybody that has anything bad to say about Tropicana Field, you haven't experienced this right now. <laughs> so you're saying it's toasty out here in the sun? It's toasty and roasty. And in the exact middle of the fourth inning, they ended up bringing out this golf cart that was like steam powered, like emitting steam up into the air, like with great and great amount of steam just going down the third base line, going around behind home play, then up the first base line, just a steam powered golf cart, and then out to the outfield through right field, and then the center, and then back out through left field. I, never, I, mean, I thought maybe something was going to be thrown out of it. No, it was just admitting <laughs> Oh yeah, there we go. There it is, there it is. Ready to get one in. The Rady scores. Calvinero's giving the signs over to first. Taylor Walls is on third, taking the lead. Kia on first. Josh at the plate. One out. Oh yeah, there you go. Get him. That was a lucky bounce. Lucky bounce. Had to go back to the snack bar and get another beverage. It is a little toasty out here. And the time it took me to get the soda. The Reds have already gone up and down and the Rays are back up. That was really a lucky bounce hitting Taylor Walls out. I thought he would have that one from third. Really a lucky bounce off the, the backstop. Normally that wouldn't have bounced straight back to home plate and the catcher wouldn't have got him. It got him in that little, that little rundown pickle. for Harold Ramirez. This could be really good. This could be really, really good. Oh! 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 Oh, in yeah! the gap! In the gap! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> That's how it's done. Excellent. If this next one is not a strike, it's going to be a walk in. Walk in a run. Walk in a freaking run. All right, it's now tied up in the ninth inning. Rays are back up three to three. Oh, this is a very stressful. Yeah, it looks like. Brett Phillips is coming in to pinch run for Kiermaier, who just got on first. But Phillips is on first. No outs in the ninth. Taylor Walls at the plate. All right, a kind of, sort of wave has started. And he is at the plate. As the wave goes by, one out, two strikes. <laughs> Pop up. It is now bottom of the ninth, tied up three to three. Reds are back up, and of course on the mound, Whistler, who last night made a mistake, he called it a balk. The first walk, walk off balk home run I've probably ever seen. It felt pretty bad for Whistler last night with that that call. So hopefully he can redeem himself, get out of this, and get us into the tenth. And into the tenth now. Into the tenth, Josh is on second because of the second base rule with no outs. And of course, if I had to pick someone to come and clutch at the plate, it'd probably be Yandy Diaz. Buck! That's a buck! That's a buck! One oh nine! That's a 
That's the guy that called the ball class night. That's why I love this game. Intense. Oh, that's no. a pop up. Tag up? Is he gonna tag? You gonna try to do it? He's gonna tag. You gotta go. Go, Josh. Go. Get down. Oh. 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 That was close. I thought he, he was gonna. He I thought really, he was gonna make a run he for, was it. Ready for it. It's okay though. Another sack fly brings in the run. Let's go. Out the dugout to see what's gonna happen. Choi is on deck. Then a Rosarina. Premier is at the plate. Just need a sack fly to get Josh in. Okay, Ray's put Fauché in and got a base hit off of him and then a wild pitch and now the score is tied. No outs. Runner on second. Now with only one out, Red's got a guy on third. All they need is a sack fly and the Red's win. Right and with the Rays having a lot of their relief pitchers and closers on the IL, kind of feared this would happen in extra innings. I can add another stadium onto my list of away games that I've gone rooting for the Rays this year. Started off, my first one was going to Chicago. Saw the Cubs and White Sox at both their stadiums. Wrigley and guaranteed rate. Then I ended up in Oakland, Oakland Coliseum. Then I went to Seattle to see the Mariners play the Rays. Then after that, went back to Oakland, got my car and flew or drove down to Anaheim, went to the Anaheim series. Also went to Montgomery Biscuits game, the 1A division of the Rays. starting to almost lose track of all the different games I've been to. Oh yeah, add in Boston Fenway Park. And now, Great American Ballpark, Cincinnati Reds. The season's not over yet. This probably will be the last stadium. I don't know if it'll be the last game, so I might go to another one. But this will be the last stadium I go to on this, this road trip before heading back to Florida. And that's gonna do it for today. Not really sure. About to approach, so someone was yelling at me. About to approach the halfway point of the season, 162 games in the season. I believe it's past the halfway point. All-Star game coming up. I think the only Rays player that might be in the All-Star game will be Shane McClanahan. No notification yet of who he'll be starting or not. I did contemplate going to the All-Star game, getting on a plane, flying out to LA, going to the home run derby, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think I need to within the next week or so get back down to my homestead and celebration for to decompress not quite yet but i am starting the descent soon we'll be going back down there and there is still a chance that the rays could make it in the playoffs they are still up there in the al east division they could get the wild card right as of right now red sox and I believe Toronto are just a step below them, like a half a game below them. I don't think anyone's catching up to the Yankees, but it doesn't matter how, if you win a division. It all depends on if you get into the playoffs, which right now, the Rays, if the season ended now, would be in the playoffs. They could win the wild card. They go to the ALDS, the ALCS, and who knows? Maybe even the series. The way they're playing now, whew, gives me a little bit of a heart palpitation. But that's part of the enjoyment of the game. I love the excitement of it. I love the slow pace to the peak the fast pace, the stress level, because when it pays off, oh yes, it's good. But when your team loses that you're rooting for, it's not fun. This was this this wasn't fun to watch. Well it was fun to watch till the very ending, till the very last moment. And then when they put Fauche in at the end, I was kinda like, oh I think Max and I both were thinking, this might not go well. And it didn't. Nonetheless, I'll see you in the next video. The vlog. Yes, sir.